Hello, Yazzers, and congratulations on the submission of your second pieces. Um, I'm Maya. I am currently in Greece on vacation, and Philip is recording the feedback from home in Zurich. So you're getting us on different screens, but we have watched together your pieces and talked about all of them. So the feedback is coming from both of us, and we're going to each talk to three of you. So first of all, congrats on handing that in. It takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there and just put your work there to be seen and to get feedback on it. And all, all feedback is meant to feed you for new exploration and um, yes, just to inspire you to keep going on your creative and choreographic journeys. So we're gonna start in the order of the submission. So first we're going to start with Isabel. Isabel, uh, first of all, we loved your slides and your transitions in and out of the floor work you did. Um, really creative, very innovative. Um, also your mobility and your flexibility really, um, you really use that to your advantage. It was very interesting. Um, especially the curved cantilever and then into the floor uh, roll. And then also your ending was super, um, yeah, it was just really interesting and surprising. Um, in terms of spinal movements, um, so lots of good quality twisting, um, really would have wished a little bit more contraction, also like really connecting from your tailbone to the top of your head. Um, but you integrated that really nicely um, throughout the piece. The only thing we would have to say is um, think about also how you can integrate spinal moves or your hand gestures into or on top of regular skating material. So for example, your step sequence was quite like the arm movements were just large and extended. Um, kind of what we see in regular skating all the time. So I think you have a lot of potential to connect your mobility and your hand gestures with the skating material. Um, and then, yes, one more thing about the hand gestures. They really told a story. I think you could have used a little bit the camera um, in your advantage there. For example, you used really well how you came towards the camera and your look and um, yeah, that we really saw you close up and we really saw the hands. And then for me, it just, um, yeah, there seemed to be that nice moment where you went um, with your hand and it, I felt like you could have like really nicely dropped out of the frame and then you could have picked up in a different frame. Um, that would have been just an idea to think about that next time where you have close-ups or you have storytelling with your hand gestures just to think about how you can play with the viewer and what the viewer sees and how you tell that story. So we have given you 13 points. Um, congratulations. All right, then Meryl, a second. Uh, I really love that forward spiral and that you went into the contraction at the end of the spiral. I think there was also technically, in terms of the movement range, a lot of possibility to go even more um, into that contraction, let the head drop at the end of that spiral. Um, I think that could be really cool, a very cool move. Um, love that, so keep working on it. Um, there was overall, we found that there was a lot put, a lot of potential in the um, duo that you worked with to facilitate more spinal moves towards, like for each other. Because if you have two, you can work a lot with um, counterbalancing or supporting each other. And that can give you more range of motion. So I think in the future, try to see what else you can find because it was really playful. That was really nice dynamic between the two of you um, and see what else you can do when you have a partner, things that you cannot do when you are by yourself. So for example, there was a moment where you held 
um, one skater was doing the spiral and one skater was holding the leg. Like this skater with the spiral could do that without being held. So just try out what else you could do that could possibly allow the other person to add in upper body movement um, or something yeah that tips you off balance or yeah just try and uh, play around with just a little bit more going more towards the edge of what's possible and then um, we saw a lot of wheel plane spinal movement so nice contraction nice waves that was really good um, not so much rotation, uh, which, yeah, so the twisting, I think you could have used a little bit more size. And then in terms of the camera, we really missed seeing you closer. Um, we both would have loved it if there was some either zoom to be used, like that we can see you more, um, yeah, just larger on the screen. Or that you could also have played with coming towards the camera and incorporating the camera into your play because yeah like i said it seemed like a very playful dynamic piece um and then in terms of energy and movement uh we felt there could be a bit more diversity in going sometimes more much more to the spectrum to intense and then also more to the spectrum of softness uh, more fluid or more impacts. So just playing a little bit around with once you have your choreography, really looking at the dynamics that you're using and seeing where you could add and um, change maybe moves that you already have. Maybe you're doing them kind of the same pace the whole time. Maybe you wanna add in energy in the middle or at the end or in the beginning. So yeah. Um, but well done also, uh, and we have given you 10 points. All right, uh, so next up is uh, Riona Harris. Um, Riona, Maya and I, we gave you 12 points in total. So first of all, well done. What a very beautiful piece, beautiful lines, beautiful moves. We love the the energy, the the beginning, the very strong beginning, very strong finish. That was that was really beautiful to watch. Um, um, also, the use of the editing part, camera use, uh, we really liked. Um, beautiful spin, beautiful lines of your skating. Um, in general, I feel your your spinal mobility, your spinal moves are so strong. But for me, I would love to see that extend more into the head as well. You kind of come from a very deep knee, which is fantastic. And you do a lot with your range of motion from the hips. And that transitions then obviously into your spine. You use a lot your upper, your thorax, your upper spine. but. I would love to see that transition more to extend basically into the, the, the actual head, the, the spine, um, the uppermost part, the head. The head. <laughs> um, then regarding your piece, uh, um, again, super strong start, but we felt that at some point in your transitions, you had more potential for, we wished, we could see you had potential for using actually um, more your skill set you definitely have to come up with more creative transitions. Uh, just for example, after your kind of Kevin Amos style slide, you, although you go into a forward contraction, but you kind of just stop <laughs> and then go into a uh, um, backward lean. I feel like the getting out of the slide which is definitely not it's definitely challenging but um we're both sure you would be able to uh again this is just an example but find a more interesting transition and generally i think when you want to gain speed um maybe a bit too much let's say standard forward push um think about how else you could in this challenge could use the 
spinal moves to gain speed. Uh, overall, again, super strong performance, um, great energy, and yeah, please also, yeah, please integrate those arms you beautifully start this piece with. Please integrate also those arms more into your skating vocabulary. That would be wonderful. Thank you. All right, next up we have Vladimir. Vladimir, we loved your piece. Um, first of all, really well done, the use of camera, how you started and ended, and then also how you worked with the camera throughout the piece, coming close by, using your vision to connect with the viewer. That was very well done. Mm. Then also choreographically, the beginning, I really loved it. So smooth how you came out of the floor work into the gliding, which isn't that easy to do to make it look that smooth. We really appreciated that. <clears throat> then um, also the main point, so the spinal move, really enjoyed how you worked on adding that layer of spinal movement on top of the skating skills. Really enjoyed it. Could see how you were trying to twist or like extend on the twizzle, or on the loop, the side bend. Um, yeah, that really followed through the whole piece that we could see. It wasn't like a piece of spinal movement and then, you know, a couple of regular skating steps, but it was really well connected, technically built on top of each other. And I, yeah, just, we both really appreciated that. Um, visually interesting, surprising, um, and also technically difficult. Then also the slides, yeah. Again, really liked how you worked with the camera on the slides um, and like little surprises, for example, like that head flick when you went past the camera. Those just kept me really engaged, um, really wanting more and kind of waiting like what's coming next um, because it wasn't predictable and I really enjoyed, um, really enjoyed that about the choreography. Um, yes, and then the only critique actually we have would be that the spin looked like you didn't care too much about it or maybe you didn't have enough time to explore positions, um, but nevertheless we gave you 15 points because it was such a well-rounded, well-constructed, well-executed and complex and difficult piece and the music choice, the performance, and the editing all came together really well, really loved it and looking forward to seeing what you make next. All right, next is Jillian. Um, Jillian, super cool piece, super fun to watch. Definitely I could tell, we could tell you had, you all three of you had a, a great time <laughs> um, creating this piece. So again, um, Great to watch, very quirky, very groovy. Um, I love the triangle, love the triangle shape. You kind of triangle and the following ups sequences, really cool dance breaks. Uh, definitely big plus point in your piece. Um, uh, dum, dum, dum. Again, playfulness, big part of the piece that's really, really strong. Um, just fun to watch the bouncing moves super super cool um we kind of would have wished for bigger contraction size um especially in the forward bend that would have been something to engage more um also we would have wished for more a bit more diversity in terms of speed across the ice uh on the on the positive side definitely you know the steps before the ending integrated uh, your spinal moves all three of you so well and also the use of direction towards each other in to, the make to make use of your bodies and in terms of um, directional use that was very very well done so um, maybe one more thing to think of would have loved to see more range of motion in the twisting um, part of when you move your spines. Uh, so overall, incredible, playful, fun to watch piece. We loved it at 12 points.
So next up is Alex, Alexander. Um, wow, what a performance, what a piece, what energy, what drama. That was, that was impressive. Um, again, also so different from the other pieces, therefore really great contrast. Um, catchy start. Also great finish. I like that. Um, again, performance wise from your skater, she, she nailed it. She was really there. That was beautiful to, to see. She gave it her all. Um, I would have loved to see also from the camera perspective, a bit more wildness. That's not a word, but to be a bit more wild, maybe work more with zooms too. Um, I felt the quality of the music i would have we would have wished for maybe to see it also in the use of camera yeah with the use of camera um uh exactly like great energy lots of rotational spinal moves that was super cool so well done less so on the side bend and contraction side that's maybe something that either you intentionally chose not to, or maybe didn't uh, put so much emphasis on, um, but would have wished for more variety of spinal moves for sure. Um, really, really cool first spin position. That was uh, a beautiful lines, by the way, in, in the whole skating, but also in the spins, really cool, uh, good lines. And this first spin position was really cool. Um, yeah, overall, maybe a bit more, would have wished for a bit more diverse interpretation of the music. Um, for example, use of, um, just different use of moves, maybe because the music was so pushing, so, um, rushing in a way, like always feels like you're watching and you kind of run with the skater <laughs> and to, but to go maybe a little bit against that with like fast move, fast move, slower move. You had, you had a certain hold towards somewhat the end. There were, there was, a, there were moments of more holding, but I felt maybe could have, especially with that challenge, when the music is so, with that challenge of spinal moves and the music is so pushing to find moments of not stillness, but maybe stillness, but more moments of more um, suspension. And uh, was it the right word? Like to hold to go basically against the tempo. Um, overall, great performance. Really like to see it. More spinal moves would be cool. Um, great skater. Um, overall, 11 points from us. So well done, everyone. And um, all the best and loads of fun for next week's challenge. And also from me, one more time, congratulations on all your submissions and really wishing you all a really fantastic journey and taking all this feedback you're getting all these weeks from all these um, professionals and judges to take that back to the rink and play with the feedback and just try and keep digging um, for more detail or something new you haven't found yet or felt yet on the ice. So um, just enjoy and wishing all of you the best of luck and all the success in your future.